Hi programmers, today we're going to continue on with our program and um, today we're going to work on that delete button that's in the form. Right here it is, right here it says delete. And um, first thing you need to do is um, you need to create a method and if you can see right here I went ahead and our validate date I went ahead and added another year to it since I have since I'm dragging and I haven't got this finished yet but um, if you, up here at the top where I have all my database calls I created a new method called delete seg and I passed it a PREID and a week and a seg ID and then I have my SQL statement, you know, delete from seg where PRE ID equals PRID stream and week equals week and seg ID equals seg ID. And then I executed my non query, and if it's good, it deleted, and if it didn't, we got an error message. And then we went back over here, and then on the delete button for our properties under the click event. We created a new method, and on this, the first thing I did, I created the dialog result button equals message box dot show, and inside of there I said, "Are you sure you want to delete this record?" And um, as the type title is delete hours record, and the type of buttons that it's going to be sent is message box buttons dot yes no, and then if dialog if the button is equal to dialog result dot yes, then we call this delete seg routine that we just created and we pass it the PREID text box three dot text because that is what this is. And then we pass it the week text box. I'll put this here so you can see it. The week text box, we're gonna pass it that. We're going to convert that to a um, integer first. You don't have. To, you could have converted PRE text box to the integer too. I just didn't do it. And we're going to pass it the seg ID text box three also. So you can see where we pass that, and then when we're done, we go through and we run that uh, get our seg hours and segs that we created a couple weeks ago and we make the seg group box dot visible equals um, false because we want them to click if they want to see that again they have to click it again and um, if it's not if the message box is not it gets a record not deleted message so let's see this now I did test deleting so I wouldn't get any error messages because so I do have some that I put in already for myself for this week okay the first thing we're going to do is um, uh, I said for today tomorrow and Tuesday I added some hours so we pulled that up and I'm gonna say delete this one are you sure you want to delete I'm gonna say new record not deleted so he stays there now then I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do the one above him I'm gonna say delete are you sure you want to delete and I say yes I want to delete and so now it's turning and re-grabbing that box so now you just see we have um, five down there and it's kinda messed up because of that we got one missing in this mix but anyway we're gonna go ahead and delete this one too and it should get it back down to 16 hours Anyway, so you guys can work on that, and I will see you next time.